Hey guys, it's a rainy day here in New York. It's the end of September. We're both off today and we're alternating between being lazy and cozy and doing projects. I have been working all day, well, all morning, on clearing out my porch of plants. Because it was like 50 something last night, but it's gonna be in the 40s at night all week. Still like 70s during the day, but it's gonna be cold. So I've been working on getting the plants off of the porch and it makes me a little sad. But on the plus side, sorry, I'm like swinging you guys around. On the plus side, I've created like this very cozy little jungle vibe up in our loft where I'm gonna be studying because I'm now back in my master's program. So I need a dedicated study zone and now it's surrounded by plants. So it's gonna be really pretty. I'll show you guys what it looks like. In the meantime, Andrew just went to the store because we're gonna make some cozy fall meals and do a few other projects. We've also been creating this gym in our basement and we have one more piece of equipment to put together, which is a rower. And then we're gonna have a little home gym where we can get fit in this winter season. And yeah, so, Hmm, let's see what else we can find to do on this rainy day. Look, it's like almost fall foliage up in here. The trees are just starting to think about changing. I'm ready. Oh my gosh, don't you love the blue skies we're having? Oh wait, it's the end of September in New York. It's raining. My umbrella has clouds because I don't want to get the camera wet, but I thought I would show you guys what I've been doing in the yard. So you saw in a previous video um, that I had these birdhouse gourds that got like, they took over my whole garden and I finally harvested them. I harvested them a little bit early because they were getting a little bit of like mildew and mold and I didn't want to lose them all. So I harvested them all and I'll show you what I did with them. But the garden is now looking better and also sad and empty. Let me show you. I'll show it to you because this is good to document, you know, the beginning because we want to improve on things here and learn with you guys. So in the last video, sorry, you have like the string from my umbrella. You saw that this garden was covered in birdhouse gourd vines and it's not anymore. It looks so bare and sad. There's a few things still growing in there, which I'll show you. So this is the garden. <sighs> it has this beautiful, what used to be this canopy of grape vines. There's a little birdhouse there, but you can still see some of the grapes. But we learned one thing this year was we learned what Japanese beetles are. And they destroyed all the leaves. It was like the prettiest canopy. They destroyed it. But then the gir board, blah, blah, <laughs> the birdhouse gourds took over. And uh, anyway, so we have to do a little repair work on our little canopy. It's all made out of logs, probably from our forest. Should we go inside? I gotta squeeze my umbrella inside. Oh, yeah, that didn't work. Umbrella first. Camera second, okay. So there's four, I just love this garden, it's so cute. There's four beds, I guess. And we didn't get a chance to film when we planted everything. So this is when everything's gone. Over in that corner, I planted the infamous five birdhouse gourd seeds that took over. And then we had carrots, we had some zucchini, we had cucumbers. Uh, they all worked fairly well. The zucchini, I think I planted like four of them right in the middle there. Yeah, that didn't work. I didn't realize how massive they get. In here, this is all peppers and strangely, they're starting to thrive right now. Oh, there's Luca. Hi. Um, so I have a ton of peppers which are not quite ready to be done, but look, I have some jalapenos. 
I have all these tiny, tiny little red peppers. Uh, huh? What's an Italian, Italian seasoning? Yeah, what's it? I think I have one in the. Basil, oregano, rosemary. Mm. I'm sure you guys will comment below. You know, the alternative is use the herb de Provence. That will be good too. That's almost the same. Oh my god, the Italians are gonna yell at me and the French people are gonna yell at me. It's fine. So, um, yes, peppers are still growing. We have some bell peppers. They're not growing great and I've sort of given up on the garden, but we're gonna give it some time. And then here we had way too many tomatoes and we got a bunch of tomatoes, but we didn't stake them up and so it was kind of a tomato disaster. Over here, I planted salad greens, uh, spinach, arugula, what was over there? Swiss chard, red chard. And that took off and then it got jungle-tastic and uh, we got some, but I wasted a lot of it. I've cleared it out for the most part now. I have a couple of little, um, these black watermelons growing there that I want to keep. I don't think we're going to get any watermelons, but I didn't tear them up. And then these are those corns I think I mentioned in my last video. I planted these, what are they called? Like gemstone corn. It's like normal corn except when you peel it back, it's like rainbow colored kernels. And I got really excited about the whole rainbow part. And so I planted them and they're doing okay. I have like one cob on each of these, I don't know, six or seven stalks. So corn and peppers remain. Luca, what do you think? Yeah, jungle-tastic. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we'll start over. Behind this fence, we had three rose bushes and then the birdhouse gourds took over and created like a tent over the roses and then weeds took over. <sighs> also the roses took over. Look, they're like trying to come back. But anyway, got to work on that. There's lots to work on through the fall and winter to prepare for next spring. We've learned a lot and we had a lot of fun, but most exciting to me is that I have grown my own jalapenos and chile de arbol, and I don't know what you do with these tiny little things. They look like Christmas lights. And there's some serrano, I think, and some Anaheim peppers somewhere. I don't know. Exciting. All right, let me show you what we did with the birdhouse gourds. Excuse us. And then we'll go see what Andrew's up to. He's working on cooking some things in the kitchen. Luca. Okay. Where are the birdhouse gourds? Come on, where are they? Show me. <gasps> you wanna see my um, thing that I don't know whether it is a pumpkin or a watermelon? So we had this ugly um, tree house in the trees. I'll show you. Right there, betwixt those two trees, there was this tree house which was sort of falling apart. It was kind of leaning and not doing well, and it had to come down. So one day while I was at work, Andrew and the neighbor with his truck pulled the treehouse out of these trees, and it fell down here onto this spot of land, which is now bare. Uh, and I thought they were gonna kill themselves, and they didn't, but then the pieces, the rubble, laid here for a very long time and killed all the grass. And then one day we decided uh, we should plant some things here in this spot. Well, we didn't water it and it kind of looks like crap, but there's two sad looking vines wrapping around here. And we have two little friends growing. Do you see? One and two. And because it was so long ago, I can't for the life of me remember whether these are watermelons or pumpkins. I think this is a pumpkin. Do you see it's like an irregular shape? I don't know, it kind of looks like a watermelon, but like it's like orange on its butthole. This guy's kind of yellow. I don't even know. <laughs> and then there's still pieces of the, um, what do you call it? Treehouse that need to be dealt with. Luca! 
Let's go show them the birdhouse gourds. Luca, come on. Nope, okay then. So, I'm gonna make a separate video about these little greenhouse bubbles. <sighs> There's the potential that they could change your life if you have a yard and house plants, but they weren't such a big success for us, but we'll make another video. Oh no, you're coming. So, the birdhouse gourds that I cut down in the previous video, I washed them, I cleaned them, I put them in some bleach water, and then I put them in our little barn. The barn needs an overhaul, so I'm not gonna show you too much, but look. Let me put the umbrella down and show you. Look, hold on. There we go. Look at these gourds. So they're cleaned and bleached and ready to dry out. And it'll take a few weeks, I think, several weeks to a couple of months. And once they're all brown and crusty and hollow and the seeds rattle inside, you can polish them up, clean them up, make a hole in them, take out the seeds, and then have little birdhouses that you can hang all over your forest or your yard or your whatever you happen to have. You can also paint them or do whatever you want. I probably have like 40. We used to have some rabbits in here. Andrew just rehomed them because we just didn't have time for rabbits. But um, there's a lot of potential here in this little barn. So, I guess that's it. That's what I've been working on out here. Oops, need my umbrella. This is our disgusting compost bin that is composed of rabbit bedding and poop and various other things that's gonna go out in the front. We're gonna create like a cut flower garden in the front. This is so gross right now, but the the soil and the worms and all the little creatures will love it. Luca, come on. Let's go. Look, our first fall foliage is this tree right here in the corner of our driveway, starting to drop leaves. So this is kind of the only place we have leaves and then everything else is still green. Sort of, mostly. Ah, it's starting, can you see? It's starting. I'm so excited about fall foliage. All right, let's go see what Andrew's up to. We're just a couple weeks away from being able to tidy up everything out here. These were some beautiful irises. I just want them to die back a little more and then we can cut them down and have them ready for spring. We'll make more videos about all of that, so I won't waste your time. What I was doing this morning was clearing out my porch of all my plants. Oh, so sad. The ferns are still hanging because I don't know what to do with them as we talked about, I think, before. But look. So empty. But I created a super cool plant room in the loft, which I'll show you guys. Anyway, Luca, should we go inside? Yo, let's go inside. Still have plants everywhere because I'm still finding homes for them. Yo, homie. Hey. What are you working on over here? I'm making soup. Soup? In the soup. instant pot? In the instant pot, yes. What kind? Tomato basil. Ooh. But I also added some like peppers to it. I added our own oregano, our own rosemary, and herb de Provence. Mm -hmm. like, Which is not our own. That's not Although our own. we could make our own next time. We could. So I have to saute this. And then, so you're making a mirepoix? A what? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. He's got this book we bought, a bunch of cookbooks. Well, I bought him some for his birthday, and it, this one is Instant Pot Recipes. And he's making creamy tomato basil soup. And grilled cheeses. And grilled cheese? Yeah. Do you kind like, of like a full day. mozzarella or sharp cheddar? Or both? Ooh. What is I was going to do both. Scenario for the grilled cheeses? Mm-hmm. For me, both. 
That's a good choice. Mm -hmm. Will you stir the pasta or do you want to make these? Um, how about I stir the mirepoix? The mirepoix? Mirepoix. I don't even know what that means. So... Ooh, it smells like good bread. You're in the kitchen, doing your thing. Mm-hmm. I got the San Mar... I don't know how you describe those um, tomatoes. San Marzano? Yes, tomatoes? those ones. Full tomatoes, canned? Yep. Are we going to use our own, too? If you want. We have a little selection of things to be used up here, including some stuff I pulled out of the garden. Ooh, that's a nice shot. Mm. And we have some tomatoes that we might as well add. All right, you guys want to see my plant jungle? It's a work in progress, but you guys have to tell me what you think. I counted today, I have 88 house plants, which is like a very reasonable amount, I think, but this is our loft room, which we never use, but it's gonna be my study zone. And I decided to create a plant jungle over here. Do you see this? Let me show you. So in the previous video, which I'll link below, I bought this grow light. Oh my God, this is totally not video ready, but I bought this grow light, which is actually just a floor lamp with grow lights in it. And I brought in most of the stuff I had out on the porch to create a little indoor jungle vibe. Can we just talk about my Monstera at Insonia? If I can fix my grow lights so you can see it. Look, I have these little stakes right now. I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna redo this and create one of those trellis things like I did with my Tetris Burma in a previous video, which I'll also link below. But it's like thriving. You know, there's something to be said about letting plants climb instead of trail. So, basically everything that was on the porch is now in here. And this will be my cozy little study nook. Oh, I'm so excited to study here. I gotta figure out exactly where this this uh, lamp should go. But just imagine me studying here. This is my grow light box. Oh, I was gonna put grow lights in the ceiling too. That was what I was gonna do. Maybe I'll do that right now. But look. Imagine me just here, doing my things in my plant jungle. Looking at the fall foliage out here which you guys probably can't see, but it's very nice right now. Oh, I'm so excited. So cozy. Okay, so let me show you. The ceiling has these grow lights in it. Or, <laughs> the ceiling has these light bulbs. They're fine, but they're like warm lights and they're not very bright, but I have one more grow light. So maybe I should switch it out and see if it's worth buying more grow lights for the ceiling. These are small bulbs, but... Alright. Also, the grow lights are more energy efficient. Let's do a compare and contrast. Hmm. Do they look the same? I'm looking in the viewfinder. They look kind of the same. But it's actually not too offensive. This is the grow light. This is the warm bulb. I might as well switch them. Also, it's like whiter light, and I think that'll give me more of a daytime vibe. I like the warmer lights, but in the winter it's so dark. I think I'll order more grow lights and swap them out. Might as well. Alright y'all, that's it for today. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe so you can see more of what we're up to, and if you want to check us out on Instagram, we post quite frequently there, so you can see a little bit more of what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. I guess it's time to go downstairs and have some tomato soup and grilled cheese. I think we're going to sit on the sofa and watch movies, and have a chill afternoon, and then maybe bubble in the hot tub this evening. So, thanks guys. See you next time.